Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod. We are back as Time and Lannister, Lord Paramount of the West. And we are currently at war. Well, we're helping in a war for Rob is wanting Northern Independence. And we have Stannis who is trying to take the Iron Throne. Now, <clears throat> I've played in instances with Rob where either you play as him or somebody on his side or on the other side a lot of times rob the ai will not take king's landing he just wants to be independent which i guess can, i mean he can take the king's land if he goes and he sieges out king's landing and he has it he, he has the option to take it there's times where i've seen him give it to stannis stuff like that but i don't think as long as he doesn't have control of king's landing that won't be an option but stannis is actually fighting for the iron throne now I went over a couple of times thinking, what's the best uh, tactic here, having to fight on two fronts? And I think right now, I mean, we have the advantage on Stannis a little tad bit more than Rob, only 7 percentage points. But we have, King's Landing is free of either one, but they are completely depleted. They have no garrison or levy on any of the, the first four uh, holdings. And the Sept of Baylor is not actually Tommen or Joffrey's. So, actually, neither is uh, White Sword Tower. It's a vassal of his, but it's not under its weird. I don't understand. But, uh, yeah, those bottom three are the ones that are the only ones that have any garrison left. Because they did take possession of these a couple times. We had to break off from what we were doing and come help out. Because his army is terrible. He doesn't really have anybody. Um, in the Stannis War, okay, we got a decent amount of people. I mean, we got the Reach. As long as the Reach stays in the war. Now, Mace died leaving Paramount Willis Tyrell. All right, so and he's married to one of our kin. So he, it should seem. It seems as if he will stay in this war. Now he's crippled and leading armies, which is kind of weird. He has a minus 997 dual skill. But yeah, um, he's not ter terrible, I guess, in the combat modifier part, but he has no marshal. But he is the Lord Paramount of the Reach. Uh, they also, I think it's just him and us that are the only Lord Paramounts. There's no Lord Paramounts on the other side other than Stannis. And he has a decent amount of men still behind him, him like, but that are actually in his control. And then it, with Rob, it's only Rob versus Joffrey and then us. Now, Mace was part of this in the beginning. And then when he died, I guess Willis figured he don't want their parts of that because it's only Independence War. And hopefully, he gets keep uh, he's kept in, involved by them. But they're getting ready to win against the Iron Isles. I didn't even realize that. I didn't think it was that much in his favor. They were really giving it to him in the beginning. It seems like they still have control over some stuff up here. I don't understand. Maybe that's the only thing keeping him from winning this. Unless he has uh, somebody captive from the Iron Isles that's giving him a big boost in points. He has a lot of people from the West. Um, I don't know why this guy... Who is this? He's got Balon Swan as commander of Moat Kaelin. I don't know what happened. Why isn't he a... a uh, King's Guard anymore? That's kind of odd. Let me see something. Yeah, I guess he just gave it to him? I don't understand. But yeah, he's a crown loyalist. I don't know if that means he's a loyalist to Rob or what. This is some weird stuff happens in this game. But he is locked up by Rob, <laughs> anyways. So, um, I don't think he has anybody from Iron Isles. He does have Willow Lannister still. Um, he has Ellen Payne. He has Lothar Brun. He has Cleos Frey. So he doesn't have anybody from the Iron Isles that would hold any money, like any or any per, any points on the uh, when it comes down to war score. So yeah, we we really gotta. I'm thinking right now because of the fact that a lot of these men that are right here are with, with Stannis, and he has these two right here. They're sieging this back right now. Um, hopefully they can just take that without our help and then maybe go over here and take that. We need to start taking some of his land. But he is the aggressor in this, so we really only need 
battle score, but we have to make sure that he doesn't hold any holdings that are under the Iron Throne. Um, we have a couple of Robs. They have that. That's it. That's they're on that side. We don't have to take none of Robs either. We just gotta if we deplete Rob down to a good enough number, like he has the most amount of men out of all of us. He still has fifty thousand men. Like that's insane. We have no chance against him if he uh, was to have all the men come down here. And that's what sucks about not having Aaron Oz. I'm thinking maybe we go out to these guys real quick, knock them down, come to Pain Hall and sit there for a minute because we can reinforce the men we have. We're not able to reinforce sitting over here. It's not our land. I mean, we could get a Heron Hall too, but he comes trooping down from the north, we're screwed. Um, so, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go out to these guys real quick. Some of them are going to Rayonet, some of them are going to uh, Byford, which is back that way. These guys are going to Rayonet too. So, I think we'll just troop up this way. I guess we'll catch these guys. When are they going to be there? Let me see the. Alright. Uh, March 7th. The earliest on March 6th. We're going to get there March 2nd. I guess they'll probably still come. These guys we might catch. It's the same day that we get there. And I don't think our morale is completely full. So we might get a day earlier. So we'll go ahead and pause and see what happens. Um, Most excellent Lord Paramount Ty Tywin. Peace be with you. I accept paying your ransom for a safe return of Master Eric. All right. Let me see something. Do we have... We don't have any allies that we can control. Which kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, we have all right amount of money if we needed to get uh, mercenaries. The only thing is, really, it's not our war, but we don't want Tom, uh, Joffrey to lose the throne, of course. Um, ta -ba -ba -ba, I swear. Yeah, I don't know why these guys weren't under me, so I just uh, asked vacillation again. I guess when they get arrested, I, don't, I never knew that they come off. As being vassals. I don't know if it was like a bug. I don't remember that ever happening. Alright. A previously obscured, obscure noble has distinguished himself during the Battle of Hayford. Perhaps I can make use of him. Uh, Sir Godwin. Who's this guy? He's like a made up house. Yeah. Alright. Gain 50 prestige. So now I guess we can make him a commander. Let's see what our commander situation. I know we got Danny here, but I don't think she's playing much of a part. Like her dragon only has nine marshal right now. It's relatively young and small. He has cavalry leader and unyielding. He has the rank leader and uh trickster. He's only like got eleven marshal. Cavalry, I like the inspiring leader. It gives you good morale, damage, and defense. So I'm gonna keep him. I think I'm gonna let him take Lord Ontario's spot. Or let's look. Uh, he's actually skilled. And I think this dude is too. Yeah. Maybe we'll switch him out for Lydia. Or Libya. She has good modifiers. Though. So is he. Alright. We'll just switch them out. Alright. What do we need? We need a sworn sword. I guess. Yeah. Alright. He can be one. What's this dual skill for? It's good enough. Um. Okay, seems like somebody's still coming here, so. Byford. Nobody from them. I don't know who's coming here. I don't see any other people. Am I missing it? Oh, this is Hayford. Duh. Yeah, um. It looks like. Like a couple hundred. It ain't even worth it. They're going to rain it, so they're still coming, it looks like. Hopefully we get there. Oh, no, they stop, assholes. All right, we're going to get a uh, river crossing, but we should be okay. Yeah, we have more than enough men. After we take them out, we're going to come over here to Payne Hall for a little bit. To the chivalrous Lord Paramount Tywin, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. We propose that Hirano, Valeros, and Joy Hill marry. Um, is that his oldest kid? Yeah, but he's not heir to anything. He should be at least heir to, like, his house and shit. But this guy is. Oh, yeah, he's Merchant Republic. Well, it's a triarchy. I think it works the same way as Merchant Republic. 
whoever they want our campaign to be. You can put anybody in that spot when you're merchant. Joy Hill, should we let her go? We would, we could get an alliance out of that. He's got a lot of men, so I think we're gonna let it happen. Um, it took it down ten. Let's see. I don't think he'd do it, but we can give him money later if we want. Really, really need it. I mean, he does have a hundred. It's only, it's really not that much, and I think we it would be enough to get the alliance because he only has two extra negatives over our two positives. So as long as you got one more positive over their negative. We can use him as an ally, but I don't know if we can call him in. It's not our war, so I don't think... Yeah, I'm not going to do it right now, then. But in the future, it could help. Uh, is she using her dragon at all? I don't see any dragon harass uh, things going. All right. <clears throat> you were separated from your men in the chaos of battle and now find yourself in the midst of war. As you scan the field and try to rejoin your forces, you see Sir Colin break through the enemy ranks and charge you. All right. Yeah, I did not see Tywin dueling people. But I think we get our uh, Master at Arms to run forward and take care of this. He's got a dual skill at 8. His is 4. I just don't see Tywin being that person. He said he leads from the rear. He's not going to be the guy running up. So, uh, we do this. Challenge and Battlefield Duel review removed. And then he'll fight this guy. So, let's see what happens. All right, the battle is over in less than a minute. Sir Benedict knocks Sir Colin to the ground and kicks away his weapon, leaving him defenseless. I yield, I yield. Titus, what up, brew? Better take him home with us. <laughs> so, I guess they took him. He's in prison. He's not anybody special. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot we'd give this guy. Why do we have to give the dowry? She's not even our kid. We'll do customary. All right, back over here. Yeah, I don't see Dragon Harass at all, so it's probably not even worth having as a commander. Uh, some regular guy named Randall is now. We got a lot of prisoners. Um, who's, who is this? They're going against Tommen for Stannis. We have way too many men here. Um, we're going to bring him over to Pain Hall. He's got 10,000 here, which is good. Let's see if we go to Pain Hall and, like, bring that up to 18,000 at least, maybe. Shit, we should have went out to them. Uh, they're going to take care of them. I can't believe they're going head first into that. Who's not going to make it out? Uh, this 200 aren't going to make it. Why would they? They should just stay there and fight them. This is the shit I hate with the AI. They do dumb shit. He's complaining about his dark cell. He's a nobody. Alright, let's see how much we're going to reinforce while we're standing there. He wants the same thing. You can rot. Alright. Let's see. We're reinforcing 15. That's it. Come on. I thought I had this dude on the reinforcing thing. Yeah. Let me reinforcement rate. Unless that's just for the county. I'm never sure about that. Um, we could actually have him on past five province and maybe that but the eleven reinforcement rate's small. Uh yeah, just leave it how it is. I could have swore it would have had more than that. Because we have uh a maximum of twenty five thousand. A lot of times they reinforce like a hundred and something at a time. I guess we'll just go take these small guys out while we're sitting here. They're still in our land so we'll still reinforce. That's the only thing I don't like about it. We don't, we're not in our land, so there's no way to reinforce. We just lose men, we lose men. I'm hoping Rob... Uh, yeah, Rob's war is over with, it seems. With uh, Now, he has a revol revolt, which has no men. <laughs> so, he should take care of that relatively quickly. I'm waiting for him to come back down south. I don't know what he's doing. Unless he's way up north. I got my spy master, like, right there. I should move him up some... Just so we can get a better picture of where he's at. Alright, he's right there somewhere. Maybe put him right here. Yep, there he is. Alright. We need to... See, I wish I could command these guys to attach to us. Because they need to be around us. Maybe we should just go around them. Just to be, be next to them in case they try to come down here and go after them. I really wanted to reinforce some more men, but it's not going to happen. We're going to go to 
King's Land and take care of these people. I think most of these guys are with uh, Stannis. Yeah. Nobody's with Rob anyways. I don't know what I'm thinking. Yeah, he's by himself. He don't need anybody. Lord Paramount Tom, and I've listened to the advice of group my bannermen led by Prefect Lu Hu Su Ko. <laughs> I hereby enact a series of laws granting more freedom and privileges to the lords of Lu Hu. Relaxing the authority of the Azor Emperor. Alright. Why are they telling us these things? I never understand that. We're nowhere near them. Alright. The north is... Where's the north at? What happened to them? Don't tell me they turned around again. Unless they got here already. They probably did. Usually when they're coming down south, they're going to stay on this side of the trident. And these guys, of course, are going up. Dumb asses, man. We need to take care of them first, though. Because if they siege back, there's no... Uh, yup, here he comes. He's going to Derry. He'll be in Derry in seven days. These guys are going up that way. Both of these are. And they don't have enough. Well... They actually have a little bit more than he does. I think the Veil has sided with us against Stannis. Yeah. So now they got the Veil, which isn't bad. They got 12,000. Alright. That's the thing, though, man. We don't need the men against Stannis. We need them against friggin' Rob. Let's take out these guys. Give us some more war score towards Stannis's. If we can take out Stannis, man, more people would probably jump on the Iron Throne side. Um, they stopped sieging that. Oh, these assholes. I hope they stay together. They're staying there. They're going to Rook's Rest with them. Good. Alright, so we, we can go take care of these real quick. How many men? They only have 400 or something men. So we can go ahead and go here. Hurry up and siege that out and get over here. We're going to lose men though to attrition is what sucks. Alright. We gotta wait four days. One, two, three, four. They already lost almost a thousand men just sitting there that little bit of time. Alright, get over here. That's 19,000. And these people are staying attached to us. We just lost another thousand men. Oh my god. This is what I hate, man. You can't tell them to like go to hell on somewhere. And we're not even leading this attack, apparently. Yeah, so we need to come off though. How many men is 11,000? The supply limit's so bad in people that are on his side because of the fact that they're lower. Alright, you guys are leaving, it seems. I need to try to come. Are they staying there? Oh, come on. I want them to, to come off that so we can come back and lead it. Come on. Get over here. Alright. Uh, hopefully we get there first so we can be the leader of the siege. Alright, good. And we can just assault it and move the hell on. Alright, this one's only got 96 men. Alright, let's get the hell out of here now. Go up here and take them out. They're taking that back. These guys are just dilly-dallying. 19,000 men. Alright. They're going to Antlers. They're going to Brindlewood. So we're going to come up that way too. Just to be around them for Rob. Stannis can sit here and do, do shit for a little bit because we're so ahead. You can't really do much. All right, my bannerman and I were having a council of war when one of my vassals suggested we should try and pursue peace terms with the enemy. Do Lannisters cave so easily? Craven, hear me roar. Um, peace, get this man more sweet beer. <laughs> Why does that make us a chance of being a drunk? I'll just smile and nod politely. <laughs> no, hear me roar, bastard. All right. Let's see. Why are you going at them with four? Oh my god, man. I hate the AI so much. Hopefully we get there in time. They're right behind them, but they might get there too quick. They're actually going to get there a day after they get here. So they might be alright. We'll all just go that way just in case. Okay, they're going to have... Oh, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Oof. Still ain't going to be enough. We're going to get there, though. My lord, since I arrived at Castle Rock, there's never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops stationed there. Under our guidance, they believe fame and fortune awaits them. They get, oh, nice. Every reinforcement rate, oh, it's only for a year, plus 50%. So we can reinforce maybe after taking care of this. Uh, we definitely got enough men. Come on, capture Rob. Damn it. 
would have been great to capture him. It really would have. How many men's he got now? Where's the red at? Is. He's got 7,000 left of that one. We need to follow him. It's going to be worth the the man we're going to lose. He's going this way. We're going to go. I thought we were in Eskaroff. Yeah. Right, we have to go through that way. Damn it. Uh, we go. Mm, make sure he's got no more men coming down here. We'll go up here, kind of come around, because we're going to lose too many men staying right on top of them. They're going the other way like assholes. I don't know why I just don't finish them off. My prisoner, Sir Willis Manderley, is complaining about his cell. He's the heir. Um, He's probably going to die any day. Maybe he doesn't have any money, though. Wyman has our amount of money. We keep him until he becomes the uh, Lord of White Harbor and then we'll get more money for him. Let's see. We got Harrion of Karstark. He can't join anything as long as we have him. Montfort still has 3,000 men. Uh, let's see. Ronald Rivers. They don't have any money to ransom. Donald Locke. He's the heir. 68, but he doesn't have any money though. Um, we won't be able to get that much. We're only 26. We don't need it right now, anyway. It's the hell with it. We'll keep him until the uh, we get a better um, what you call it? Put this at Casterly Road. All right, we'll come out this way. Where is he going? He was going to Acorn Hall, so he might be, it might take him off. I probably won't. Acorn Hall. How many men could have there? Eight or eleven. All right. I'm trying to see what the best bet is. Supply limit wise. I'm not trying to lose a bunch of men chasing him. This has seventeen thousand fifty, but all right. He's going to Wayfarer's Rest. He might. Come. Yeah. All right. We're gonna catch him there. I want to completely, all right, here comes some more men. I'm going to completely wipe this stack of men out. All right. It's still 1,500. He's coming back now down to hard heart. We'll go. You know what? We're going to scoot around this way. And maybe these guys get down here and we can take them out. All right, we're about dead even with the two. We need to go deal with these guys where they take Adadel because they'll move here. There's some Stark men there, so we'll just head down back this way. High Heart, Tranta, Chittering Brook has no men, so we'll go here and then come through Rayonet. And then from Rayonet, go to King's Landing, take out those Stark men. Alright, Prisoner Heron Car Stark is complaining, keep complaining. I don't care. Let me see. Who's our... These are our men. I think I'm, I'm taking Daenerys out. Because she's not even using a dragon anyways. It's so small. It wouldn't even matter. We got Adam. And then Davin. We'll use this new kid. Let me see how Davin looks. Yeah, he's a little better. Alright. We got Adam Marbrandt's way better in the center. Alright. There's a bunch of Stannis men around here. So we gotta be careful. Who's this? Janae Lannister. She's our niece. It's Kevin's daughter. Let's give her duty. Focus. Alright. Now that one's only got so many men. He's probably going to stay in north. Reinforce for a little bit. Or add these two together. Looks like. Hurry up now. Let's get to them before they take that. <clears throat> Laurent of R'hllor Uprising declared... Relor revolt against Lord Paramount Top. Oh, he's only got 400 men. Where is he at? River Spring. Alright. Who's this? Alright. Royal rebels have risen up in River Spring, led by a militant Red Priest. If not swiftly crushed, this revolt could spread like wildfire. Yeah, we need to take care of that before more and more men add to it. Is there anybody that has men that I haven't raised? What are these guys doing? I hope they're not coming. It seems that they're going up the eastern 
iron aisles, so they're going up that way. So to make sure they're not coming down. This dude has men, but I can't raise them for some reason. Let me see. Uh, raise vassal levies. Make sure it's nowhere that somebody's going to roll up. They're probably going to be there. And they're coming right there. I think he's going to try to siege that, but he don't have enough. Oh, yeah, he does have enough men. Shit. Oh, no, he doesn't. He might get enough there by the time he gets there. Um, Why is this guy not under me again? I probably ought to raise his men. And Let's see. Let's wait a second. Uh, the bales down there were 10,000. That's good. They're taking care of those men. All right. Let me see. Can I raise his men? No. <laughs> I don't understand why it makes them not my vassal just because they're arrested. Can't raise his men either. I don't know about that shit. Alright, he's not staying on Heron Hall, so I don't have to worry about that. Nuns Deep can be raised to 800. Where are they at? Right there. Alright, so maybe we should raise them. Where is Nuns Deep? It's 800. We can raise these guys. Pendrick Hill's right next to them. Oh, nice. That's 2,000 right there. Uh, let's see. Any more men? These guys are all here in Hall. So we don't want to raise them yet. They're sitting right there. Um, they're going to paint hall, so we'll have them come down here and meet up. I don't know who these guys are. Peasant Revolt. Uh, Stony Sup. So there's nothing to worry about. Um, let's see. They're still sitting there. Let me make sure there's somebody. They got Danny on that one. Put Danny on the side, at least. And then put him on the other side. And that guy in the middle will just... They'll all just go in the spots they are. Alright, taking out those Stark men. Uh, you ever see the nasty wound while fighting in the Battle of King's Landing? That sucks. Please don't get infected and die. He's getting old anyways. Tyrion is still in hiding. I guess with Joffrey. Their kid's dead. She's freaking depressed. They need to have a kid, man. Who, hold on, let me see who's in line. Tyrion, Cersei, Joffrey, Tom, and Rosella, Kevin. Alright. I mean, we got more than enough family members. I just don't really want it to be Joffrey. Alright, let's see. We got some men over here going to Fellwood and Grassy Vale. Which is that way. Uh, I'm trying to finish off Stannis once and for all, but I think we should just come up here and take out Stark. Yeah, we're gonna get back that way. Uh, except the sort of ability. Yeah, it doesn't matter because I can't raise your friggin' men. Oh, I can raise his. It's only 491, though. We'll still raise it. Alright. They'll come out here. They're going to Red Ramble. Can I raise his yet? No. No. Alright. Damn it. I knew it. Infected wound. I knew it. He's so old. Alright. Can I come out of hiding? I have to wait till peace probably I think. Alright. He's taking his last breath. Whoa. We're not part of the war. I guess we have to say we want to be part of it. He doesn't want to form his lines. Uh, let's see. He died, infected wound, a brilliant man. He ruled the Westerlands ably in every way possible. He will be missed now that he is with the gods. Lord Paramount Tyrion, not fearing the gods, he never lets religion get in the way of justice. Yeah, that's the Tyrion we know. All right. Tyrion's got ice, the sword that's bigger than he is. Now Joffrey is our heir. Wonderful. The man with no stats. Declared incapable. Oh my god. Alright, Kevin's our regent because we're in hiding. The Iron Throne is on an ongoing state of war. Joffrey Lannister in conflict. Is our men still raised? Oh, we lost a lot of men. Jesus. Uh, Joffrey Lannister is in conflict with Rob Stark. Specs us provide men. Sure. 
His father, Paramount Tywin, has died now falls he decide whether to make a funeral a big special event. Yeah, we'll have a funeral for old pops. We will invite, um, I guess the whole, hold on, that's one fit. Yeah, we'll do it. Tywin was a man among men. Alright, I guess because we came back to war. Hold on, why aren't we helping with, uh, Rob now? This asshole won't have an alliance either. He's not that much money. He'll probably do it now. Yeah. Uh, he needs all the help he can get. So we need to help him. Oh, what? The freaking war score went down. Cause of, I think because of all we had. You got to be kidding me, man. All right, we can... No, we don't want to call him in. We want to help him. He's going to lose now. Oh, my God. I didn't think it was going to drop us out of the war with Rob. And then we, he takes us into the war with Stannis where he doesn't need the help. Alright, we need... Where's Kevin at? Hold on a second. Why is it... What, because he's regent? We can't have him on the council, I guess. <sighs> that shit's stupid. Alright. He's not bad, so I guess we'll have him as Castellan. We already got the treasure. Uh, he likes us more, though. He's 72. He's going to die. We'll play him for now. Um, Master in Arms. She doesn't like us whatsoever. Uh, attracted to... What does it say? Uh, attraction to Dwarf. I forgot. The women don't like us too much. Uh, I should put Davin, but he's a decent. Uh, Benedict Broom was the one, yeah. So we'll put him back. Our maester we already have. So have him serving the court, collecting taxes. You. Let me see. What's up with the levy troops? We don't really have any, so let's have him ever see Rome. I think everything else is the way it should be. Alright, now, pick a focus. I don't think we can while we're hidden away. Are we? Oh, yeah, we can. Alright, uh, he's good at intrigue, but I want him to a little better roller shit, probably. Maybe business. Yeah. Alright, what's your ambition, sir? I want to win the war. Give us some more martial. No, you need to have a kid. That's what you need. Um, let's see. We don't have to worry about that. I'll set this at Casterly Rock. And then go help out our stupid nephew. We can arrest him for some... Oh, command war. Um, increase council power. Unless he asks us to, I think we'll just leave it alone. We can't come out of freaking hiding until we're at peace, man. Thinking about... Uh, giving one of these guys up, but right now we're alright. We don't we don't need the money. We can buy a knighthood. All right. Um, can we raise any more men? Saying here, whoa, I mean it dropped drastically since time. And, um, I want to raise these men, but I think they're gonna pop up right there. I guess it doesn't matter right now because they're not against Rob. Hopefully he asks us to. If not. He's stupid. Alright. They're going to ran it. Let's have them come down that way. Still need to deal with these Relore guys. They're going to Silver Hill. You guys are going there. They're coming to the same spot. Alright. Invitations have been sent to the lords and ladies of the realm to come to the funeral. It's time to prepare the feast and the funeral itself. Let me see. I'm gonna Alright, we need to put some miles here. We got Godwin, I guess, maybe Davin, yeah. Alright, now we don't have to worry about Rob's men for the time being. Maybe we should come down here. I don't know why he is not asking us to help with this war. Call to arms. No. I want to help you, you dummy. Damn, man, that went totally almost down to nothing, the war score. Because we're not involved. Uh, we'll spend lavishly, I guess. Man, I really screwed up everything. 
couldn't have survived a little longer. And I thought about not having him in uh, commanding troops, but I was like, that's not Tyrone. I mean, yeah, he doesn't lead from the front, but he doesn't not do anything either. Oh, man, this sucks. These guys are going to deep den, so we'll just take them there. When they're going to be there one day. Or we'll let them go one day. And then we'll go there. Damn, we're still not going to catch them. Let the feasting commence. I can't believe they're still coming. Yeah, I knew they were going to stop. Alright, they're going to stay put. Oh! Dishonorable Titus Black has failed to answer a call. He literally sided with Stannis. What an asshole. Where is he going? I think he's going to come down and cut those guys off. So we might need to wait. We'll put these guys together. They need to still keep going there. He still won't have enough men. So we should be alright. Danny's leading. She better use that damn dragon. A minor merchant from Castle Rock is present at the feast and has taken an opportunity to bring a petition before you. He says that Sir Martin Lannister owes him a debt that has gone unpaid, while Sir Martin himself claims that his debt is no longer valid. It urges you to declare the debt canceled. Um, what is this? I agree with Sir Martin's debt is not owed. So it gives us minus city tax for two years. Then we lose prestige that we can't afford. Yeah, Martin, you're just going to have to pay that. All right, Sir Rand Miller is usually attendant to the feast at Castle Rock to present a petition for justice before the court. He claims that Lord Leo Leopard made an attempt on his life and demands that he is brought to justice for attempted murder. All right, um, Leo Leopard, this guy, he is dishonorable, so he did probably try to do it. But he is a high lord, and we don't want to piss him off too much. He's under him, so it doesn't really matter. This one, I have a chance of losing Justin Prestige, which I don't want to do. He's going to only make us one now. Yeah, let's make him pay. Are they getting there yet? Alright, the funeral. The Sound Sisters finished the preparations of the deceased. The body of Lord Paramount Tywin is brought to the local sept and laid atop an altar at its center. Canopic jars of ornate design are placed around the feet of the dead, and the eldest child places the death stones upon the closed eyes of the deceased. One by one, those closest to the departed in life make their way into the sept and speak their goodbyes, shed their mournful tears, and pray to the seven for the dead. As the day winds down, the last goodbye is said, and the body is carried by kin along the crowd lined streets to its final resting place as the sun fades away. A great feast is held, and those who knew the dead recount stories of the life and deeds of the lost. So this is a uh, died affected wound, what, who didn't let anyone stand in his way, merely a competent swordsman, and not a war, uh, not a warrior. Songs are written of Tywin wielding the famous Valyrian steel great sword, Ice, ancestral blade, House Stark. So we gain some piety. Alright, these guys, we need to have them come there and take them. But they're probably going to st start running as soon as we, uh, they made it there. They got a lot less men is what's taking them so quick to get away. Dunn's Deep has formed an alliance with Lord Tyrion Lannister, Tyrion, whatever. Alright, he's still, f oh, the White Walkers invaded already. Yeah, we're definitely not going north. I hate that when you don't take that decision, it get, makes you lose prestige. I don't think that's right. Just because you don't... Not these people don't believe in the White Walker. If anything, it should make you cynic, cynical or whatever. He was quartered by a desperate crowd of beggars. Has been seriously wounded, giving alms to the poor in your name. Oh, he's only wounded. As long as it doesn't get infected. See, when you're real old like Tywin was, he's got a lot bigger chance of getting uh, an infection and shit like that. We need to try to take them out. They're going to stop. Stay put. If we can at least take care of Stannis's. If we take care of Stannis's pretty quickly, then we might... Oh, man, don't go through there. We might get lucky and um, 
be able to uh, help him rob because he's pretty much going to ask us to help. All right. Peasants attack me while collecting tax at Cash Free Rock. God, another one? I'm like trying to kill my men. I knew it was going to, wasn't going to be uh, too good with Tyrion taking over. Uh, relinquish his position as Lord of Brightwater. Favor Garland Tyrell. What? Hold on a sec. Where is... That's Garland there. Wow. He gave it up to him. It ain't even their land. That's crazy. Alright. Shit going crazy for everybody, at least. Um... Good to parchments. Hopefully they stop. We'll wait till they get there because they're just going to stop coming if that's the case. Alright. Marshal Sir Benedict told me about his ideas. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant in his belief that they would improve the military. Whatever you say, buddy. Alright. We're taking out this revolt. Alright, that's over with. Alright, I think we're going to take out his men. Oh, he's got too many now. Um, You guys come this way and meet these guys. Yeah, we'll go over there. And then we'll have them... You know what? Where are they going? Drox. Can we have them come down this way? No, go this way. And we'll have them meet up with these other guys. Where are... Alright, we're going to get there. We're losing men though, man. Jam! Alright, let him rot. Man, they got out of there. Jeez, how slow are these guys? They keep getting outran by everybody. Come on, hurry up. Where are they going? The Woodmere? Yeah, they'll stop. Good, they caught them. That's nice. Alright. Who just died? He died suspiciously. Um... How's Rob's war? Rob's winning now. I knew that was going to happen. Like I said, the only good thing with Rob is that uh, it's he usually doesn't take King's Landing as long as he don't have it already. But he is sieging it <laughs> with 600 men. That's crazy. Or 700 men. Alright. This guy was coming to our service. He's only a septed, though. How old is our sept that we have? 41. It's not, it's not worth paying 40 gold for. Alright. These guys beat them, so... I'm trying to think of where we should go. It's at 96%, so... Lord Aemon of Cape Wrath. Uh, that's just some other war going on. Alright. Hornvale is with Stannis. But I don't think it's going to do anything taking them out. These guys. Will have come straight. Why do they go all the way around like that? You know what? What's How many men's they, got? they had? 700. How many men's this one got? Six. Let's get out of here and take this one. And it might be enough. It's at 97. We have a ticking war score, yeah. The war score for the Iron Throne is ticking because he doesn't control it. These guys are going to take it, though. Oh, my God, man. We keep losing more and more men. Just take that. I don't even care how much we lose. Ty, when, Ty, Tion Lannister. Tion. All right. We're probably going to lose so many men just assaulting that. Whoa. How do we gain men? Oh, the other. Oh, one guys are fighting there. Somebody joined us, I guess. They didn't give us any war score taking that, too. Let me see. Occupation. Yeah, they didn't do anything. So we might as well just leave. We need to give, either take something to Stannis that's directly under Stannis. Or what's the war score looking like? Right, we need to find those men that were just fighting the veil. I think there's somewhere over here. He's taking out some men. I think that Earl Rob saw it. Let me see. 
Oh no, he has another Lord Aegon. Oh, Aegon. I thought they had already beat that one. What did he invade again? I could have swore that one was done and over with a while ago. Or maybe we just weren't part of it. I don't know. Alright, there we go. It's 100%. So hurry up and end this so we can help him with Rob. You guys come. Yeah, just come up here. And then we'll come up there too. Hopefully, ask us to help him with Rob. Come on and. Damn. Takes forever. Alright, we're out of war, so I'm gonna come out of hiding while we can. Alright, so now we're not in hiding anymore. No, ask us for help. There we go. Uh, this is against Aegon. The wrong one again. God damn, man. Oh, no, it is both. Okay, good. Thank God. Regency has ended. Alright, we're gonna take out these 700 men. Jesus Christ. Now Ghost Hill is trying to become independent with their 1,000 men. Gall Town is too. What the hell? Clara War, Gall Town, Independence. Who else wants to be independent? Well, this is everybody just go independent now. Alright. That's Heart Home, so they're part of the North. Hey, uh, the Brackens have re rebelled against. There we go. Let's take these guys out. Man, they really went backwards since the time and died. Now we gotta pick all that back up again. We're gonna be at war for like another two years. Danny actually used her dragon for once. It'd be great if she killed Rob and just end this. Mauled to death. Wow. He mauled Hover Red Wine to death with a lion. That's great. That's how you keep people under you. Keep them happy. Let them get mauled by lions. That's why I do not want Joffrey as king. Maybe he dies and then Tommen will take over. Tommen's a lot easier to deal with. I'm surprised he hasn't eaten anybody yet. He usually turns cannibal. We gotta go over here and take all this shit. That's Aegon though. Hold on, where are we going that way for? They're going to Holler Hall. So we'll come down this way. I don't know where Rob's at. Rob's got so many men, but I don't know where they're at. You phrase can stay where you're at. Hold on, can I get something for you? Ten gold. How many phrase do I have? That guy, that's a mom for Valerian. This guy's just a Randall. We'll get that 10 gold for him. It's always worth anyways. Ronald Rivers. We'll get money for you. Which one's this? Hosteen. We gotta wait till they give us the money for the one first. Uh, stay where you're at. Alright. I think we're gonna get there. Alright, where's Hosteen? So I can get the money for he runs out of money again. There he is. They're only worth 10 gold anyways. They were worth more while Ran uh, Walter was alive. But... Alright. We captured some YT guy. Formidable fighter. Dual skill ain't that good for being formidable. Alright. Uh, Rob's war. They're still winning. All right, we gotta come back down and take these North guys out again, so they don't take the Iron Throne. That's the only thing that sucks, man. These garrisons never get back up. Now the ones down here fill back up, which is good. Uh, can we get anything from him? Seventy-four gold. Who is he? Oh, he's a prince. But he's part of some uh, what you call it, a uh, mercenary company. So it's for them to pay it, not the... Alright, they're coming up to take them out, it seems. So we don't even have to go there. Um, There's Rob's guys going to Eskroff, so we'll come up that way. I really worry about Rob. Agod's not really that big of a deal. He don't even have that many men under him, so... Alright. He don't even have the events on troops anymore. One of the local brothel keepers in Cashley Rocks recently died, leaving his business available for purchase. 
Many of the brothels need renovating and improving, but acquire but acquiring these whorehouses would prove to be a profitable investment. Yeah, why not? Wow, we lose prestige for this? Empiety. Okay. We're about money. We're cast we're we're uh Lannisters. Alright. Rob is staying in Mossboro, so we need to go to Mossboro. I'm worried about Rob or Aegon. Aegon can be dealt with. Alright, he's going to Peckleton, so he's going to our lands. Hold on, we need a what? Seneschal that got dot, I guess. There's Kevin. Alright, who can we arrest? Martin Lannister. What did he do? He wants to rescue Willem. That's fine. I don't know why I'd make us want to arrest him for getting his brother. Alright. Lord Paramount Tyrion of the Western. I hereby invite to a wedding of Morgan Riker and Marcella Lannister. Wow. And marry Marcella to Riker. And he's not even the guy the heir to it. Yeah, I guess we'll travel to a wedding. It isn't like we're fighting a war or anything. We need to come up here and help them out. Of course, we're not going to make it there, but we'll at least make it there to take a bullet. I don't know where all these other men that Rob has. All right, Lord Renford greeting us warmly to the... To the wedding. Cider was served and much lovely music was played throughout the whole night. The ceremony between Morgan and Marcella and the grand feast shall be held upon the morrow. Alright. Alright, we took out those men. It's still 20. How is it that bad? The attacker controls all their holdings. Why does that matter? That doesn't make any sense. So we have to. I don't understand why the attacker. Usually it doesn't matter. All right, take this. That should go down now. Yup, it's at 75 now. That's why it went down so low. All you have to do is hold one of them, I guess. Now, Marcella Lannister and Morgan Riker stand before the gods to take up the holy vow of marriage. The great lords and ladies of Duskendale look on as he drapes the, the arms of House Riker around the bride and finally seal their marriage. All right, we got that. We're not going to assault that. Who's coming up to deal with them? The Reach. Yeah, all right. Let's try to siege some of these little ones. All right, we'll go over here and take Pink Maiden. We should end up end this relatively quickly now, as long as we hold one of those. Our battle things all the way up to, to seventy two. So it's not that bad. All right, good. They're taking off somewhere. The feast is winding down. Now only the bedding remains. Morgan and Marcella are stripped of all their garments by the revelers, who make many a baldy joke along the way. They are then finally bundled into their bedchamber where they are finally left alone. Fine tradition. Ripping kids' clothes off and making them have sex. Fine tradition. Lord Renford's wedding is over and now time to begin Long Way Home. After the music, the entertainment, and the warmth, the real world suddenly feels cold and hostile. So we gain 15 prestige for that. So we should start. If we take some more sh uh, shit, then. It should be a relatively quickly. We just got to watch out. See, now he's going to King's Landing. Now we're going to have to go down there and deal with him. Alright. Uh, why does it keep telling me to choose a focus? Alright. They, they cut him off. Good. Somebody scary fight him. Who is it? Those guys? No. Alright, good. The Reach went after him. We can't get any more war score on the battles. 2%, I think. Actually, I think it can go up to 99. I'm not gonna, oh, the Iron Isles are attacking us, man. God damn it. They're just raiding us, but still. This asshole. Who is it? Victorion. We're going to have to deal with that. Because they're going to make all my money deplete. Oh, we got 59 gold. Good job, uncle. A petty noble in King's Landing has spent the week visiting Cashley Rock, constantly bragging about his wealth and estates back home, insulting his local peers and behaving like royalty. The courtiers are quite sick of him and are asking to take action. Uh, write a formal complaint, ignore the courtiers, make him go away. Yeah. Come on, take this pink maiden already. We inherited the castle of Widow's Tower. Um, this, this one. We have a king. No, we don't have that one. 
We can keep it for now. We don't have too many holdings. They're actually sieging shit. They're not just raiding, so we need to go over there. We need to take care of Rob's people first. Is that seventy nine percent? Some reason it just went down two points. I guess they just had a battle somewhere. Alright, let's see how many men's he got now. Alright, it's only twenty five thousand now, it's doable. Alright, he's going to Stony Sep. As soon as we take this, we're going to attack him. Alright. Uh, so I guess Malwin Sarsfield likes this a little more. It's nice. Alright. Oh, we can assault that. It's at 84. Alright, let's get out here and attack him. Man, they are slow. Surprised he didn't run away. There he goes. Almost 10,000 right there. It's at 92. Joffrey's been excommunicated, I think. Yeah, of course. Oh my god. There's going to be revolts like crazy now because of that shit. He's going to Acorn Hall. Let's go try to cut him off. Hopefully he gets there right before we... Alright. Where's he going now? Pink Maiden. We're going to beat him. Alright, good. This might end it, hopefully. That'd be great if it does. I don't think we're going to get 8% for that, though. Oh, it did. Jeez. Thank God. Hurry up and end this, Joffrey, now. Before they take back any points. Hurry up, Joffrey. The dragon Drogon is a ravenous beast. He has regularly roamed the lands of Castle Rock, gorging on livestock and peasants. Hundreds of them have seeked audience with you in the past month and protest at this. Their discontent growing all the while. Yeah, we will... Offer them vague promises, apologies. Joffrey, end this war. What is taking you so long? Come on. Thank God. Now we took care of him. We just got to take care of Aegon. And we will leave that for next time. So if you like, hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one later.